my own phone to record this because I can't use my actual phone. Now, the issue I've got at the moment is that every fucking time I try and move this, it starts recording. And it is getting pretty fucking hot. The body is really starting to overheat. Now, the thing is, it will not let me go into the app. I've been trying for the past 25 minutes. It will not let me do it. I've tried everything I can. It's connected to the device. But if I click on the app, which is the only way to change the settings in the camera, because you cannot connect, you can put it onto your PC, but you cannot do anything with it on the PC other than try and charge it. It would not, it would not recognize the SD card, so you can't copy the files. SD cards are made from sand, silica. Every time you touch them, they wear out. I've got big man hands. So trying to take it out every single time I use it, it's going to destroy it within a month. Because of the amount of riding I do. The fact that I cannot access, it just goes straight to there. That's all it does. It won't let me access the fucking app. Because I want to turn off the smart setting so it's not automatically recording whenever it feels like it. So according to this, the blue solid light means it's connected to the Wi-Fi, which it is connected to my Wi-Fi on my phone. But it won't let me do anything to it. Now, one thing I can try and do is I can try and install the app on the PC. I don't know if it'll let me because a lot of these apps only work on phones, not on computers. I don't know. It's, it's pissing me off. Something that should be a plug and play device doesn't work. I'm not computer illiterate. I taught digital multimedia for years. I built computers from the ground up and this is just pissing me off. It is that simple. The fact that this thing will not even let me open the app is ridiculous. I mean, all I can think to do is maybe if I can try and open the app without it being connected to the device and try and do it, which I shouldn't have to do. No, it won't let me. It's just automatically trying to connect to it and it's not letting me. It's trying to use Mac privacy. I'm not on a Mac. See, I click forget and try and do it from scratch. But this is a really crap app see it's not even letting me to open the app which it should do because it has done before all i can think is that it's trying to harvest my data my information and because i've got security in place to stop that happening that's where it's crashing yeah that is it's, it's my cheapy little 4k camera that i've had for the past few years and it still works perfectly from word go, all I had to do was put an SD card in. Didn't even have to format it. Charge it up, and off I went. I've had this camera, uh, I got it at midday. That's seven and a half hours. And I still haven't been able to view any footage that I've accidentally recorded. All I can think to do to see whether or not it has actually recorded is to take out the SD card and... I don't even know if I've got a card reader on my computer. Is it, the computer is only two years old. But a lot of computers don't have card readers anymore. So, I select that one. Enter the password again, even though I've saved it and told it not to. Just make sure, yep. Connect your two device, can't provide internet, which is normal. Select the app, and it won't let me. See, it says tap for options. Yeah. And yet it still will not let me open the app. It just won't let me do it. And that's really fucking pissing me off. It should be a simple process, and it's not doing it. So, fuck it. I'm just really, I just want to smash the fucking thing right now. It, a simple process, and it's not letting me do even the most basic things. 
and because of the way it's designed, so you can only use it, you can only change the settings with the app, and the app doesn't work. And this is getting so fucking hot now. Yeah, that's pissing me off.